You ever had this situation when you are making stuff up, for whatever reason, and at some point it just collapsed in on itself because you've started to contradict yourself? And worse, you've presented your own previous position as laughable? Well, our good old pal William Lane Craig certainly had this happen to him. It's just that usually his speeches are so long-winded and full of baseless assertions and fallacies that it's hard to get through one of them staying focused on his arguments, not to mention going through several. But sometimes the lady luck is on your side, as it was on mine, when I've caught this little self ownage while listening to segments of his different speeches. First of all, a quick disclaimer. I do not argue for any one of these positions to be true. I'm just here to show the tangled mess of anti-logic Craig has spun. With that out of the way, let's begin. The other candidate would be a mind, that is to say an unembodied consciousness or self. The mind is not a material entity and it needn't be constantly changing uh, as long as its thoughts are changeless and focused on a single intuition of reality and a mind isn't something that exists necessarily in space. So we could either have an abstract object or an unembodied consciousness as the cause of the universe. In this clip, Craig argues that the supposed first cause of Kalam's cosmological argument, an oft refuted apologetic nugget, has to possess several properties which show that it must be a mind, the main of which being that it is immaterial. But we'll focus on the other one, the one that says beginningless. Now let's grant him all these points and just jump directly to his other speech, amusingly enough, also on the topic of Kalam's cosmological argument. Objection number six. Nothing ever begins to exist, for the material of which a thing consists precedes it, so it is not true that the universe began to exist. Response to number six. I think this is my favorite bad objection, since the assertion that nothing ever begins to exist is so patently ridiculous. Did I exist before I was conceived? If so, where was I? What was I doing during the Jurassic period? So apparently, what made Craig so jovial in this objection was the notion that he, William Lane Craig, never began to exist. But what does this mean? Obviously the stuff that he was made of, all the molecules, atoms, subatomic particles, etc. existed before him. Even he doesn't object to that. So the only way to interpret it is that he, as in the person, began to exist. So what began to exist was the mind that made him into this person instead of just a composition of organic material. The notion to suggest otherwise is laughable, as Craig clearly shows, because he obviously did begin to exist. Otherwise, where was he before he was born? Was he just some sort of disembodied mind floating around outside time and space, existing eternal... Uh-oh... Now, of course, you could say that minds can begin to exist. It's just that God's mind never did, it always was there. But that means that the entire reason why minds are considered a valid candidate for the supposed uncaused cause falls apart. We don't know any minds that didn't begin to exist in observable reality, so why would you posit that such a thing is possible anyway? It's a case of, yet again, special pleading, where, quite literally, what Jupiter can do, the orbs cannot because, as is commonly the case with apologetic arguments, we are simply defining God into existence. This is what happens when we try to argue about things that were never experienced by anyone and of which we don't even have a concept of. What is it to be timeless? Can you exist outside of the material universe? How can something happen outside of time? At this point, our entire model of thinking breaks down, which is, of course, a perfect ground for people like Craig to hastily assert their ideas on the ruins and proclaim themselves to be right, because nobody can prove otherwise. Luckily, the side effect of this is that they can sometimes be very entertaining in this process. Thanks for watching.